great, another one who refuses to put on clothes. Just follow the orange line. Allow me to answer some of your questions. What are you doing here? You're here to test a device. What kind of device, you might ask? A device which allows you to travel between alternate dimensions. The rest shall be explained in time. Now, most test subjects found that the first time jumping dimensions was extremely intense. So, you may feel a bit nauseous. Another success. Welcome. You are now in the second dimension. You are required to hand over the orb before exiting an area. For safety reasons. You may have noticed some things might be present in one dimension while not in the other. You should be cautious approaching this next step, as only parts of the floor exist in this dimension, so make sure to take a good look before you proceed. Essentially what it does is, it takes the gravitational pull of an object and repurposes it into energy. This way we can get energy out of nearly anything, so we're not just limited to power cells. What you just walked through is an energy field, one that only allows objects to pass through one side, the blue one allowing objects to pass through, while the orange one blocks any incoming object. These energy fields tend to be flipped in the second dimension, however, this can differ. As you may have noticed, these tests have bottomless pits in them, and yes, they are indeed bottomless. Don't ask how we make them, their purpose is to make sure that our subjects have good spatial awareness. Wait, what happened here? Odd. It appears the elevator is broken. You know, I didn't want to have to do this, but it appears you'll have to be taking a side route. Don't be advice. Don't touch anything. I must get this fixed and look into something. We'll meet again in the next test.
You've also managed to skip two tests, but I'll see it through. This test is a standard maze. However, to exit it, you must find a power source. I'm surprised you've managed to get this far. You're getting close. Continue for the next test. Let's see how you do. These are newer versions of the energy fields. They come in larger frames. Next part of the room, you must find a power cell hidden in one of these six rooms. Remember a while back when I said that was the last test? That wasn't entirely true. However, it was the last test with that orb. We have a newer version waiting for you a few rooms further. Some of the features which might surprise This newer version requires a lot more energy to function. So, we had to build an entirely new charging station for it. Now, because of the greater amount of energy, the intensity of jumping dimensions for the first time will also be much greater. So, brace yourself. 